Do YouTube, I'm back here again with another video, and today I'm going to be talking about a Mason Francis clone called Bearcat that I have done multiple videos on, and this is the Oud Satin Mood clone. And by far, this might be my favorite clone fragrance by Bearcat. This stuff smells spot on to the original, and I only paid roughly about 20 to 23 bucks with tax. Basically, this is a dark, this is a nice vanilla rose, dark powdery fragrance. As you can see, it has the MFK bottle. Um, it has a nice gold trimming, but this isn't Mason Francis Kirk John. This is Barricat. With this fragrance is pros and cons with this fragrance. So I'm gonna read off some of the pros and some of the cons. First of all, this is a long lasting fragrance. So you have pros like long lasting and it radiates from clothing, which this thing projects, this thing is strong, and this thing will go. Um, it's a classy, sophisticated, and elegant fragrance. Not too many people could pull this off. This is something that can really be pulled off in like a office setting or weddings or something really in that nature. Um, unique, unlikely any other perfume. This stuff is different. I never smelled anything like this before. It's kind of nice, rich, powdery, and rosy. Um, it's great for special occasions. And it's like a good sweet floral fragrance in a way, even though it's really strong. Now, the cons on this fragrance is expensive. It's not expensive at all. <laughs> it's not expensive at all. This is a very affordable fragrance, so it's not expensive at all. It's nuclear, so if you spray too much, some people could really get bothered by this fragrance. Some It might cause headaches, nauseous. Um, it could really just be a bad fragrance if you put too much on. So. I don't recommend putting on a lot of this fragrance because uh, it can cause headaches. Uh, some people may find it too powdery or too baby powder-like. Um, it might be too much powdery, too much baby powder for some people's liking. Not everybody is gonna like the smell. This is a specific smell that not too many people can get away with. Like I said, man, it's really unique. And this is just a clone. This isn't even the original. This is just the clone and it, spell and it smells spot on. Yeah, but it's a real unique fragrance. The first time I tried it, I think I put too much on and I did not like it. Um, I actually liked the fragrance. It was just way too strong and it was just like overpowering. So the second time I wore it, I knew how much to spray and it was just enough and it was perfect. But I got this off of Amazon. Didn't cost me anything and it smells just like the original. Um, but just with these oud powdery rose fragrances, I wouldn't really spray too much at all. Um, and don't mind the kids in the background. It's currently a Sunday and there's kids playing outside and I got my window like wide open, so it is what it is. But this is either an office setting, but you can't spray too much, or it's just good for special occasions, bro. Like, um, it's not too much to really break down about this. It smells amazing. It's not an everyday fragrance for sure, but it's one of those ones where you can pull out and you can enjoy it and other people around you will enjoy it because you smell so nice, elegant, and and it's a good fragrance overall. But thank you guys for tuning in. Watch another video with your boy. I'm out.